on the justice court. The plaintiff promised James is suing Matthew Batsy for the breach of promise to marry and the refund of 2.3 million naira, being total sum of loans and investment fund given to James. All right. Court is session. Honorable Judge Fumi Asalu presiding. Please be seated. Your Honor, this case is between Promise James versus Matthew Bassi. That is one of them. Yeah, the only one in court. Yes, Your Honor. Okay, Promise. Yes, sir. Okay, what happened? It's a case between I and my ex-boyfriend. I met him since 2014 at his sister's wedding. So everything was going on well till we dated for about six months before we parted ways. And he now came back to me again. That was 2016. That, you know, he wants us, want us to take the relationship to another level. Though initially I didn't accept it, but the pressure keep coming on his friends, his families, they started calling me and all that. So I accepted. We started the relationship early 20, 2016. Everything was going on well till 2019 when he took me to go see his father in Ibadan because that's where his father is based. So we traveled there 2019, December. So... I spent one week there with his father and his family. And then we came back to Lagos State. When we came back, he told me that, you know, he saw one land there in Ibadan. One of his friends showed him a land. And he likes the land that he wants to buy the land, but he didn't have enough money to buy the land. So then I had money because where I was working, I gathered some money. So... He begged me to borrow him the sum of 500000 to complete the money that he had to buy the land, which I did. I gave it to him. He told me that he's going to give me the money back in three months' time. I accepted. So after the three months, I asked him how far with my money. Now he told me that I should hold on, that he's working on it to give me the money back. Two or three months later, I saw him bought a car. Though he didn't tell me that he was going to buy a car. I saw him with a car. And I said, ah, ah, Matthew, you went to buy a car. He didn't even tell me anything. He told me that he borrowed money from his bank to get the car. I said, okay, I was happy. He now said, I should hold on that. My money is going to refund the money back to me. I said, okay, no problem. So after the, the car... He now came up with the issue that the car, he needs to get some papers for the car and some other things like that before he can take the car outside. He now said I should help him with some money, which I did. I gave him 140,000 naira. Then after that, I told him, okay, when are you going to give me all my money back? He just said I shouldn't worry that he's doing some contributions, that when he collects the contribution is it will, it will pay me back my money. Okay. Then that was 2020. After everything, I started disturbing him. Matthew, how far with my money? He just said I shouldn't worry. So still that same year, he told me that he want us to travel after our marriage. Want us to travel out of Nigeria to go have a better life in Canada. I... <laughs> He said he didn't have enough money to, you know, start the process. That, you know, his friend, he has seen some agents, some people like that, that they wants to help him with a good amount. And he knew that all these things, anytime he wants to do all these things, he knows then that I have money. So he now comes to me that I should help him with money. I asked him how much. He told me that it's 250000 I did give it to him. Okay, after that, 
okay, he started a process. I now get to know that all those processes that he was going through, even the Canada, whatever he was going through, my name was not there, he was just processing it on his own. Okay, that was not all. Fast forward to November 2020. I asked him, Matthew, all these things that you're doing, when are you going to refund my money back? He just told me that I shouldn't worry, that the money is coming out, that he's expecting some money in so-so time, that I shouldn't worry. That December, he was expecting money while we are still processing our traveling out of Nigeria. So I said, okay. After that year, 2020 passed, I didn't see any money coming in. We traveled again to, his, to Ibadan to see his father. I told his father everything. His father said, I shouldn't worry, that he's going to refund, that he knows his son. So after that, after we came back, we spent one week, we came back to Lagos State, 2020, 2021. So there was money I had. I had some money with me. So he said, why am I keeping that money in my account, which I can use that money to do something and the money will be bringing profit for me that he wants to use that money to buy Bitcoin for me. And I said, <laughs> I said okay, no problem. I had 300,000 Naira in my account then. So he now said, I said, okay, teach me how to do this Bitcoin on my own. He said, no, since then I didn't have uh, my national, no valid ID card. So he now said he's going to use his own wallet to buy the Bitcoin. Then when the Bitcoin rise, he will sell the Bitcoin and then give me the profits. He will still be using my money to trade. I said, okay, no problem. I like the idea. I sent him that money. Which other ones is still with him? He has not refunded. I sent that one to him. He said, okay. The first time he traded, he said the Bitcoin is down. Or that I should hold on or that the Bitcoin has not uh, gone up. I waited after one month, two months. And now they stopped him at you. I want to know how they sell this Bitcoin. I want to have a an idea about it. He now came up to tell me that, okay, he has reason now. So that he, he, sell, he said he will sell. But if I can hold on when the Bitcoin rise well, that I will make more profit. I just tell him, no, just sell the Bitcoin and just give me the profit. And while we are still waiting for it to come down, then when it goes, it come down, when it comes down, you buy it again and let's do it like that. So the guy sold that Bitcoin for me and he sent 50, 53,000 Naira profit to me. And after that, the money and every, that was all I, I know about my money. There was a day like that, he, he told me, I was in my office, he told me that he wants to see me or that I should come to the house. I went to his house. It was a weekend like this. Saturday, early morning on Sunday, he now woke up and told me that he had a bad dream. I said, what was the dream about? He told me that he was driving in his car and his pastor appeared to him and told him that, what is he still doing with me? <laughs> what is he still doing with me? What, no, what are you doing with this strange lady? As you mean he's here to defend himself. Why, what is he still doing with a strange lady? So I was like, okay, what's the meaning of the dream? He said that the Holy Spirit told him that we do not have future together. I said, okay. So after how many years that we spent together, the Holy Spirit you know, is telling you. You know what I want to ask him? Because he's not really here to defend himself. Yeah, really. yes. What I can gather now is you have a claim against him, two claims, breach of promise to marry. Yes. From your statement that I read. Yeah. And how much is the sum? That the total sum is 1.3 plus 1 million. Is the total sum is 2.3. So he's owing you 2.3 million naira, and you have is your breach of promise to marry, because you said you eventually yes, we went ahead together. with somebody else. Because I saw that in the claim. The defendant Matthew Bassi promised to marry the plaintiff, taking advantage of the relationship. He collected loans and received funds at various times. He claims that he saw in a dream that Promise and himself have no future together. But he has not refunded all the monies with him. He is not present in court. George Fumi adjourns this matter. We're going to adjourn your matter. 
from now and we give him opportunity to turn up and defend himself. So the legal team will reach out to him. You know he was supposed to be here today. Yes. So we couldn't make it. We we'll give him another chance. So for now, I'm going to adjourn this matter. Matter never adjourned. All right.